So what's up guys, Jermaine Young here. Welcome back to the channel. So what I'm gonna go over to with you guys today is I'm gonna go with my dividend portfolio. This is, I would say this is something I do every month, but then I'll kind of be lying because it's been months where I haven't done it. I've actually skipped a few months, you know, things got busy. I've been really, really, really busy with real estate this year, going hard with a lot of renovations, upgrading a lot of properties, and, you know, just making things a better experience for my tenants, you know, focusing on that. So I haven't really been on the stock market focused at all this year, and I kind of also took a backseat to YouTube a little bit. That's why a lot of months I haven't been uploading, but... I want to show you guys what I did uh, make last month um, as far as my dividend portfolio that I'm still holding on. I actually did make some changes in this portfolio. As we're going along, I'm going to you know explain those changes in the portfolio and show you guys the little tweaks that I did do because now I want to start getting back into there because my portfolio has been completely been getting beat up with all of this volatility in the stock market and a lot of good deals are coming up, but... I would caution a lot of investors on jumping into the stock market right now. It's not really, you know, time yet unless you have the uh, experience and you can stomach the volatility. Me, I love volatility. I embrace it. I always say volatility separates the boys from the men. But aside from all of that, I'm going to show you guys the 14 paychecks that I received in the month of September of 2022 and the forms of dividends now. Let's go over to my dividend portfolio. Okay, guys, here we are in my dividend portfolio, um, and let's hit it off at the top here. September uh, 1st, Visa. I own 10 shares, some fractional shares of Visa. I earned $3.18 in the form of dividends from Visa last month. And the thing I love about these dividends, you know, regardless of whatever, you know, the stock is doing, the stock is underperforming because it's getting beat up. As long as the company doesn't cut the dividend, this is still free cash flow that I'm getting every month, passive income, regardless of whatever. You know, every month I'm getting paid dividends. Some months a little higher, some months a little less. But, you know, I got companies that pay every month, as you'll see in the video, and then some that pay every quarter. This just happened to be a heavy quarter where I had 14 companies in my portfolio pay me dividends. So let's go to the next one here. We have Johnson & Johnson. Johnson & Johnson, I own just over roughly 14 shares, almost 15 shares now I have with the uh, drip, as you see here, with the fractional shares on the ends of these numbers here. That's because I do the drip, which is the dividend reinvesting plan. So all the dividends that I get, I don't take that in the form of cash. I just let it reinvest back into the company to buy more shares and kind of create that snowball effect where you know old shares are buying new shares and they're continuously buying new shares and then reinvesting and building itself. You get what I'm saying. So uh, that's why you see the fractional shares here which is compounding itself. So Johnson & Johnson, yeah, $16.71 I have here from Johnson & Johnson last month. Not bad from Johnson & Johnson. Microsoft, one of my companies that, you know, I, <laughs> I kind of bought this at a tie, but it's getting beat up like crazy. So. You know, I'm not going to say really it's a time to buy yet because I have some companies in this portfolio that you'll see where one particular, one particular where it's down 60%, but I'll show you when we get to that one. Uh, Microsoft, eight, eight shares, uh, just under $5, $4.99. Looks like a sale that I got, Microsoft sale, $4.99 I got uh, last month on September 8th, uh, dividends. Uh, Walgreens. Actually, I bought some more Walgreens today. Uh, I actually should have bought it yesterday, but you know, today they announced their earnings and they did pretty well. And last I looked, they were up about four to five percent today. Um, but at the time where I had these two shares of Walgreens, I got a dollar and two cents off of two shares of Walgreens. But I've added more in the portfolio today which will build it up. I think uh, when I bought into it, it was um, a dividend yield of just over 6%. So, you know, not bad for building that in because, you know, buying it at a cheaper price, getting a better cost basis on it. Next, we have 3M here. 3M's kind of been getting beat up. Not sure where it's really at so far this year. 
uh, as far as year to date, but I have 12 shares of 3M. Uh, they're facing a lot of lawsuits, especially that stuff with the headphones, with the military contracts, if you guys are keeping up. But I think 3 is still going to be a solid company, and they'll pull through in the end. $17.93, almost $18 are received in a uh, form of dividends from these shares on September 12th. Uh, next one we have here, same date, September 12th, IBM International Business Machines, uh, 18 shares, $30.18. Actually, I exited this position today of IBM and got out of it. Um, I didn't really lose any money on it. I think I, when I sold it, I was only down overall, overall down about 1%, which is not bad, uh, but I wanted to move away from more like uh tech stuff and go into a different sector so i sold out of ibm and bought into uh lockheed martin which is an aero defense company uh i'll probably do a video you know doing a, a full explanation on that so if you guys are not subscribed subscribe to see that let me know what you think uh yeah i exited out ibm sold all the 18 shares and reinvested that money back into buying lockheed martin uh, so got some shares on that Lockheed has been doing actually pretty good this year You know, I mean that's only because of the war that's going on in um, In Europe right now uh, Next one here old realty old realty is one of my favorites one of my darlings here the reason being is old realty pays me dividends every month You know not the best high yield on the dividend, but you know 57 shares as you see I have way more shares here and I've been earning you know more like say like uh, Johnson & Johnson here 14 shares versus the 57 shares only difference is when you do compound it on a larger sense I do make more because O Realty's paying me 12 times a year Johnson & Johnson only give me four times a year so you look at it on a broader aspect it's more you know and I can compound much faster with this $14.30 I've earned on Old Realty on September 15th. Also, September 15th, Home Depot bought this at the worst time. It was at the top of the market. Uh, got into, oh, I only bought one share. I'm glad I didn't go crazy on it. But uh, I think it's time I should buy some more into Home Depot because I love Home Depot more than Lowe's. This is what I use personally to buy all the materials for my contractors, for my rental properties. I like them more convenient, more locations. You know, I, I just like Home Depot better than Lowe's. I know some people like Lowe's, but I just like Home Depot better. So for that reason alone, I'm going to invest more into it. I think it's a solid company, great dividend, dollar ninety-two cents I earned on that one share alone, you know, on the 15th. So I'm going to increase my position in there. Uh, next, McDonald's, good old Mickey D's, 15 shares on September 16th. I earned $21.60. Not bad for McDonald's. You know, I can go buy uh, probably with two Big Macs and probably get a drink with the $21 I earned on that. Uh, the Vanguard uh, index fund, S&P 500, Admiral shares that I have there. Uh, five dollars and thirty-six. I'm sorry, five dollars and sixty-nine cents that I earned on that. This is a index fund that I have in my uh, portfolio of the Vanguard index fund of S&P 500. Tracks all 500 of the S&P 500 companies. September 28th got paid from that. Uh, Nvidia. Uh, definitely bought this at the top of the market because this has been getting beat up. I mean, September 29th, NVIDIA, how many shares we got? 10 shares here. 40 cents we've earned. NVIDIA is a dividend company, but it pays a very, very small dividend. Smaller than Visa. You know, I thought Visa paid a very uh, small dividend. NVIDIA pays a small dividend. That's, you know, it's more of a growth company than a dividend company. But because it does pay a dividend, I do keep it in the dividend portfolio. But this company, NVIDIA, is down 60% this year. Um, so, you know, it's it's taking a beating. I'm not ready to start investing into it again yet. I am going to pump more money into it just to, you know, take advantage of the dip. 60% dip is nothing to laugh at. But I do think NVIDIA has more pain to go with as far as what's everything that's going on with China and this whole chip thing. I uh, You know, I do see NVIDIA dipping below $100 a share. I think right now, last I looked, it was around 116 
So once it does dip below 100, I am going to start dollar costing average into NVIDIA again, just as low as my cost basis, add more into it because I do think this will go back up again. This was at one point very close to be a trillion dollar company. Market capitalization got beat up, you know, 60% because everything that's going on, but it will recover. It's a great company. Uh, Goldman Sachs, uh, September 29th, three shares, $7.66 on Goldman Sachs. Uh, Simon Property, another REIT that I have aside from Old Realty down here. Simon Property, September 30th, I have 38 shares, paid me $68.14. Very, very great dividend. Um, you know, definitely going to increase this if I do see that it's getting beaten up. Simon Property hasn't really been taking much of a hit, not like companies like NVIDIA, Home Depot, uh, Disney. Whew getting smoked but Simon property yeah I would definitely love to increase on to Simon property you know more uh and then the last one here September 30th Pepsi uh 23 shares Pepsi I uh, received 26 dollars and 97 cents so not a bad month you know for September as you see here September 1st September 30th 14 transactions uh, dividends you know that was the payout that I received on my portfolio let me know what you guys think in the comment section below about these stocks anything that you own anything you would like to own you know give me your honest opinion about the positions that I have here you know 14 positions paid me out you know free cash flow for the last month love to see what it does this month you know subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already thanks for watching see you in the next video Peace.